All right, we're back. We're doing another analysis video of one character. Yep, I had to do it for the culture. I apologize for not doing these, but these take the most work out of all of them because I have to go through so many years. I have to watch so many videos, go through so many stuff. But there are two more coming after this to finish the year. Like, I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. We, I got some bangers coming, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. I've been teasing this guy for a long time. I just want to do him because he's just a Hoffman. He's like a certified hater. That, that's He probably loves that certified hater song, run, ironically. Yeah, this is how far we're going for the first half. This is going to this is gonna be probably the longest one out of the two because there was so much stuff. I, I fell over and died looking at all this. Yeah, introduction. And yeah, this is going to be the biggest part two series. I believe so. Probably even bigger than the Spencer video in terms of like content, not like analyzation. So yeah, just watch the part two Spencer series because that la I laid all the ground rules in that one video, and also it's pretty good, I'd say. It the Diesel Ten video did better, but honestly, I think that Spencer was a banger. But let's get into it. Uh, housekeeping. Yeah, he was housekeeping Bulldog episode three. Pure time rush freshman lady. Oh yeah, I got timestamps if you want to skip this BS. But I gotta legally do it. Episode seven. And Snow, episode 26. The Old Bridge, episode 24. The Refreshment Ladies Tea Shop, episode 8. I don't have the episode on here. I have them on my uh, script. Reneas and the Roller Coaster, episode 12. The Grand Opening, episode 21. No, Not So Facing Puddings, episode 24. Uh, Mighty Mac, episode 4. Throw Out Flower, ep 1. A Smooth Ride, ep 2. Wash Behind Your Buffers, ep 23. So, um. So, this is basically the same from what I did in my series 2. I just copied and pasted it straight, so... Yeah, just time scamp it to the next one, but... This is for, like, new people, if they want to get a basic overview of what they gotta get into. This is not supposed to be, like, a substitution. You should go watch everything for yourself. But, yeah, let's get into that. Home at last. So, uh, basically what happened was Carlowe and Rusty formed an alliance with Sir Chop and I had Peter Sam locked up in his basement with the rest. Because he has a surprise for him. And he brings Carlowe and they bring this new dude named Duncan because of Peter Sam's accident. But Duncan really is shown to be a bad hire. And that's going to be a running joke in my show. Like, why do they keep hiring Duncan? Because, like, there's so much evidence that they should not have kept Duncan. Like, I'm telling you, this dude's a half menace. Like, he, Scarlowe brings a workman, but Duncan is like, oh, frick this railway, because of his rock and roll behavior, but Scarlowe pushes him out. And Sir Tom Hatt, on his, like, first day, has to send to Shadow Realm as punishment. And yeah, they should not have kept this man around. Like, someone's, like, question why they keep him around, ironically, because if he was, like, human in a human situation, this bitch would have been fired. <laughs> Holy shoot. Uh, enough ranting. Rock and roll. Oh, yeah, he's racist, too. Scarlowe is chilling Rusty. And Rusty shadows some, foreshadows some bad trucks, and Duncan bullies everyone for, and is racist. And James is mad at Duncan for being late, so Duncan is racist. Uh, Rusty and James agrees. Duncan continues on his racist random rails, and Rusty is going to talk it out and come to Duncan's aid. Even the passengers have to help. Oh yeah, he takes the L and gets over his racism. And yeah, he does have a- Duncan does have a character arc, I wanna give that clear. I have to roast him now, cause this is when he was actually trash. No, I can't say that, series 12 exists. Never mind. Special final, episode 11. And this is basically where Peter- Where, uh, Peter Sam doesn't feel well, and he gets trolled by Duncan and the squad. And it's very wet, and Rusty's at work, but track will destroy, so Toby's tight won't be worse. Peter Sam approaches a tunnel and loses his funnel, and he gets hit by icicle, and he can move without a funnel, and they just use a train pipe from the ground, so everyone trolls him, but he still gets a nice photo to tell him hat. Yeah, everyone is hella jealous, so basically, Duncan joined in on the trolling got owned. Steamroller is a good one. Sir Handover to George, episode 12. We gotta recap this one, this was a hood classic, me and all the boys know this one. And yeah, this is when Sir Hanno was catching some strays. Like, Peter Sam was roasting his wheels. Scarlowe said Sir Hanno should fight George with steamrollers since he has steamroller reels. Also, George was like a half menace. Like, I already went through that. And yeah, I, I still agree. He works with Bulgy. Sir Hanno was messing with George. And they end up crashing into each other, causing an argument with Sir Hanno. And yeah, a policeman arrives. And yeah, in conclusion, they roast Sir Hanno lol. Passengers and Polish. 
Uh, yeah, this is a this is a good one, bro. So basically, Scarlowe's being polished by Nancy, a conductor's daughter, and Scarlowe's dozing off, and it's called Lazy Bones. Bro is thinking about Reneas, and he's coming back. Duncan wants to be polished. Nancy has helped a refreshment lady, and Duncan is just still mad. Uh, Scarlowe's coaches says they're real, so they go to help. Duncan's still obsessed, set, and shorn steam. So they reach a bio duck. And yeah, imagine being Duncan's conductor. Scarlowe needs to push up because he says your protest. And yeah, being Duncan's conductor in the early days must have been horrible, bro. Like, I don't know if the pay was good or not, but man, horrible. Gallant old engine. So this is basically where Scarlet we calls out Duncan with Reneas and tells a story, but Duncan's like, uh, I don't like your story. <laughs> and so Reneas is charging along and stops in the line. And his valve gears jam, so Reneas keeps going to save the line, he makes it, and Duncan takes the L. So yeah, Duncan's just a dumbass, bro. Like, I low-key hated doing this analysis, because, like, the first, you have to go through so much to get this guy to be good. You have to give up so much of your time and effort just hoping this man will be good. It's low-key infuriating. So, yeah, we're going to do Series 5 to 6 after the short break. Okay, we're back. Let's get into it. So, this one, there's a bit of new stuff. Like, the last two parts are new. So, I'd recommend if you're skipping, go here and, like, skip a bit. So, yeah, don't get spooked. A bit of a refresher. Basically, episode 24, the narrow gauge engines are chilling. And the trucks want to mess with Peter Sam. And they... Doing class to death on the bridge, and Sir Tom had puts him in the yard, and Duncan gets roasted because he doesn't accept that ghosts exist. So Peter Sam's driver's like, "All right, pull up, we gotta troll this man." And even Duncan's old man hate, hate bro so much they gotta troll him. Like Duncan is shaking. It's actually funny because in later series, Duncan is just so used to catching the, some strays. Like straight just like says sorry and nearly without even asking. It's kind of crazy. Like Duncan is just so used to the abuse. It's like, damn, buddy. Duncan gets on the old bridge and sees some bugs and thinks it's a ghost, and the driver makes some noise to troll him. And then series uh six, Duncan Don Duncan, I'm trying not to say donut, bro. Holy shoot. I don't know if Duncan and Donuts were out when they made this episode, but this uh, this title is not H well. Episode twenty-four. Uh Rusty Renaissance and Scarlet we pull up to the function of Duncan and Duncan hates Incline Railway. Like in the early seasons, it's Incline Railway was out for Duncan, bro. It was a certified hater. Well Duncan's also certified hater with like cars. And yeah, it's okay. It's kind of like Duncan was a human being riding this track.
Rusty is on his daily run and finds a flawed bridge where Duncan is still racist as a goal and gives a both Duncan and his driver a gun because they both agree to cross the unstable bridge to get coal. Uh, fire his driver right now. Duncan is stopped from the bridge and Rusty is going to check on him and switch on that roast Duncan. Make sure Rusty is dumbass driver to while he's at it. That dude, that dude really went along with this crap. Like, holy shoot. Lock him up too while you're at it. Tuneful Toots. Episode 8. Oh, yeah, this is on Series 9 now. I'm sorry for the break, but yeah. You can see it on screen, though, actually. Yeah, that isn't a problem. So now we have another ox corn problem. Rusty's messing around by the lake, but no one likes his, like, corn or something, his whistle. So Sir John Hap and his wife are coming to the railway, so there's going to be a brass band. Rusty's taking the brass band. Oh, yeah, this is mainly a Rusty episode, actually. So it's like the ox corn, so the band is given the ox corn. Rusty forgets his job, which might be care for assassination, because it's really so good. So Thomas has to come his wife, but Rusty's still missing, so the plan is that Oxford is at the maximum sound. But Thomas hears Oxford and moves the concert there. Then they were just trolling this one, eh? Isn't that bad? But here are some side quests. The Magic Lab, episode 14. And yeah, the incline is back for round two. Thomas pulls up some parts for the incline and it's probably spinning. There's a magical lamp, but Peter Sam calls BS. Rose alone in the fog. You miss the junction. Rose is a fog lamp lamp. Duncan finds a campfire. Peter Sam is dumb. He finally finds Carol the helicopter, and Peter Sam realizes that all lamps are the same, so Harold bites up the way. And yeah, this is like a mystery of like Proteus and like his powers. He will come down. Like Proteus is actual canon character no more. He doesn't just have made up food. Later, spoilers are gonna find a statue of him, which implies he is real to some extent. We're back to the Duncan story. This is my favorite Duncan story at the time. Well, actually, I know one later, but yeah. We'll get to it. Duncan will mind for 20, and it's summer, and Duncan has to take some cold and rusty. Duncan is sad because he has to visit the cave. Well, he wants to visit the cave. Rusty sees a closed off place and chooses to cross it. Duncan finds an old mine. Duncan is going to die. Both Rusty and Thomas will get the impact of the situation. Even though Thomas is breaking into this hellhole before I digress. Duncan wants to copy Rusty's bus and he needs to get help. Now Duncan is actually stuck. Also, your conductor, too. Now Rusty realizes what happened. And yeah, this was the narrator said. Rusty edged forward really slowly. Do with that what you will. Duncan finds some freight cars and they break out of jail. Rusty goes to hear some noise like grunt. Turns out he had the coal. Scarlow in the brain, episode 22. Scarlow is up in the mountains. In kind is back around 3. Scarlow is like an officer in the ass really character assassination. Oh yeah, I forgot the later seasons are kind of stuff in the 2000s. The 2000s was a dark era for Thomas and Media, bro. They, they were not okay. Well, I, I lied. Here the rail is technically 2000. But that was a kind of continuity or whatever. But yeah, the incline fights back and Rusty almost dies. Scarlow is like a five-year-old, comes crazy down the ground, and grenades and doesn't catch him in 4K. Scarlow is heated. So Scarlow may have committed second-hand murder, but he looks for the murder, so he does. Basically, he hit the coal, and the kids, have, the people up in the mountains, were basically going to freeze to death against his ass, because he was still trying to compete. Um, hold up. Series 10 to 11. I think this might be the last one before the conclusion. Yeah, but that will come after a quick break. Okay, we're back after my quick water break. 10, 11. So, we got some more Duncan stuff. Duncan drops a clanger, episode 6. It's county fair time. Duncan has to collect a bell, but he's a weirdo. So, basically, this dude just starts, like... He moved on the track, like, by four, because he likes, like, the impact on the wheels. <laughs> and Renee is watching him, like, what the heck? And Duncan is late because of his goofiness, has to go slowly. But, would Duncan listen? No. <laughs> Despite all the warnings, he breaks and loses the bell. He hears the bell and finds it on the tree, so he gets it back. He takes it, he gets it polished and takes it back on time, and no one really cares. So yeah, funny Duncan side quest go burr. <laughs> Tom's is tricky tree, episode seven. It's snow time and Tom's is about to commit a crime. Duncan makes fun of Thomas, bro and Ron Peter Sam. So basically this causes Thomas to become racist towards everyone, like Sir Handel. 
because he ignores him, even though he had the answer, like, he's being serious, because Thomas has to find a tree for some top of Matt, and even ignores Rusty. Thomas finds Carly's basement and thinks he found the tree. He crashed the load with all pipes. Sir Henry delivered the tree, so he has to search and find him, and Thomas has the tree. And it's all started because Duncan loves to catch strays. Like, that's, like, a running thing for this man. He will just catch a stray, and the whole episode starts because of him. Like, this, and he never really gets blamed for it. Like, there's, a, like, you could argue that the great discovery was caused just because he tried to catch a stray with Thomas, too. And he never got blamed for it. Like, they just, he just chilled with the squad. Like, bro, this was your fault. It was okay. I know it was okay because they found, like, uh, Old City and they brought Stanley in. But, like, bro, this is your fault. Oh, yeah, that's spoilers. I'll get into that movie, like, next episode. But, uh, let's continue. Warf and Peace. That's, like, a obvious parody of War, War and Peace. Scarloe has to go to the wharf. The troublesome truck sends blood. James wants Scarloe. Scarloe has to take a bull to the wharf. That And, like, this is where we find out there's a lot of, like, OSHA regulations, like, violations going on in Sodor. So, put Sir Tom Hop in jail. But Scarloe's a real G and helps Rusty. Now, Duncan Scarloe face a flood, but they still cross. Basically, Scarloe is depressed because uh, the trucks are bullying him. And yet he sees logs, logs of Cloneus, and he protects Cloneus. And Ray is like, bro, you're okay, man. Go out there and do something. And now he understands that he most the troublesome trucks. But what I'm going to say to you is uh, do, pull an Oliver and kill one of them, okay? It's that easy. Duncan's Bluff, episode 24. This one is hilarious. <laughs> this is like a prime example of Duncan trying to catch strays. Like what I mean, like this is what I mean by Duncan catch strays. This was just so out of pocket. So Duncan's delivering coal to the village. Duncan bullies James, and it's a coal race. Duncan's a dumbass and loses to James, but he lies about coal. So basically, he forces James to like bring a bunch of coal, and he overworks him to death, and he hides more coal cars from James. He basically puts him into slavery. And now later, when James tries to do it, he's out of coal, which is very ironic. Duncan realizes he's screwed up, and he tells the Jews, so he brings a coal car to James, and they make up. And like, you know, he needs to beef again, so it actually worked. Series 11, Cool Truckings, episode 22. Uh, Duncan is there for coal. Okay, this one is actually kind of fun. So, so side blocks Duncan, so Madge has to take Duncan back. Duncan starts to bully her, and this continues for a minute, so Madge activates Tokyo Drift Mode and shows Duncan, like, how to be cool and stuff. And Duncan just, Thomas just waiting with the coal cars, and Madge just teaches Duncan how to snow day work, and Tokyo Drift goes wrong, they almost die. But Madge pretty often does her job. And Duncan's at work, and then later, Madge breaks him still. And yeah, in conclusion, Duncan went on a date with Madge. Like, oh, hell no, this is not, this is not got hooked up. Duncan does it though, all episode 24. So this is when they started cooking, when Duncan started to, like, actually start being an actual decent character. Like, he, like, he was cooking. So Duncan has to collect freight cars of straw, but Rusty's overworking, Duncan volunteers to help him. So Duncan doesn't know how tourism works, so he just leaves them. Well, he's mad because they're just saying, taking pictures of stuff, but dude, that's how tourism works. One of his other homies overworks, so, and yeah, they seriously need to hire more steam and do that. And Duncan sees her handle, and yeah, Duncan has ADHD, and he just takes her handle stuff. And yeah, this is a person who's gonna pull up and beat down his ass. Duncan realizes he set his friends up for failure, and Duncan, Thomas doesn't know how character development works. Everyone times Duncan is like, now, I gotta do my stuff. Sir Handle in charge, episode 25. Sir Handle is him. James is mad. Sir Handle's in charge of the special for today, but he activates his dictator powers. And he goes to everyone but doesn't recruit them. Like, he goes to my Mac, Rusty, Duncan, Peter, Sam, who are racing each other. Sir Handle surprised he comes and he realizes he was a dumbass. He has to go back to recruit everyone. Everyone has to start like to make like, partners for personal later, like, he did not mess up. Like, bro, be honest with yourself. You got carried. Conclusion afterward. We'll be there after a quick break. Yep. <sighs> Correction, series like 18. I'm from the future. Series 18 beta. So conclusion, uh, how do I analyze this, bro? Duncan has a pretty stable character story so far. It's just told in different ways. Let's just go by series. Series 4, Duncan throws a bunch of whole, has a bunch of temper tantrums and gets roasted as a result. A average opening for a star character. In the early series, characters were introduced hella rough. And he also does get roasted by his co-workers to start top hat himself. Like, he's the only dude to catch a stray from most Sir Tom Hammond's to personal on the daily. Like, bro. 
Yeah, in Series 5, he's overconfident and gets roasted for consequences of his actions. In Series 7, his mistakes have lost long-lasting implications for Sodor history. And this is only that Duncan delivered thing, and at this point, I was getting sick of Duncan, bro. Dude, it was a date of the rails. Like, I don't keep re reiterating this. Why do they keep hiring? Is it is it because of the dilemma, like, with, like, Megatron and Starscream, where they have to keep Starscream on, because they don't know who else is going to come after him? Like, is it like that? Like, bro. But Series 9 is a turning point. Duncan Old Mind said best Duncan episode so far. I said so far, it gets better. Series 18 cooked. Because he actually gets to go on his own and realize that his actions are bad. Since they directly affect him and only him. And Series 10. And that's going to get expanded on when he goes against a, a human like him who also hates. So in Series 10, Duncan solves his own bail problem by accepting his fate. And yeah. No one figures out he's too goofy. And yeah, Duncan is a Hall of Fame instigator. Like, it's so true. Like, I wrote this without knowing the future, but now what I know, yeah, he is a Hall of Fame instigator. Roe Rose Thomas was activated Thomas racism towards Neil and Jane's Gene. Like, he he stopped a whole movie by messing with Thomas. But he also owns up to his beef by helping James, who failed because of his cold beef. And in Series 11, he does go on a date with Marge, unofficially. And yeah, we found out that Duncan can be surrounded by society and act normal. And Duncan does it all. Duncan's finally able to take an Alan Grace role. So yeah, that's the kick rock so far. It's looking good. Hopefully a certain company doesn't ruin it. And I'm from the future. They didn't really ruin it. I think they did the best they did. They could. I mean... Yeah, at the time I wrote the script, I looked at the episode for part two. And yeah, it should be quicker than last time, I hope, but I don't know. See you all later in peace. Hopefully, hopefully. Yeah, you should get the next one shortly. See ya.